Hi my sporty people, how are we doing? So today I'm gonna show you how to gain muscle mass and strength during the confinement. I know it's quite tricky for most of us because we don't have access to gym or equipment or any uh, weight uh, that uh, will help with that as well. So I'm gonna give you some little tips that will make it possible with just body weight exercises just um, no equipment at all. I might make a separate video on resistance bands which I think might be useful to add if you have um, some of them already at home um, but otherwise this is fine with just body weight and in the next video I'm gonna show you separately how to work each muscle group with just your own body weight. So this video is mostly targeted on how to structure your workout and how to make it intense enough to gain muscle mass and strength. So um, the first thing that we need to know is that um, muscle uh, fibers, they respond to high level of uh, force and tension over time. So you need to use uh, quite intense uh, overloads uh, for the number of reps that you're doing in order to construct uh, new muscle fiber. So the difference between uh, um, weight training and body weight training is that weight training you can easily progress um, in a small uh, increment. For example adding 2 kilo, 1 kilo and you are gonna have a small um, a progressive overload whereas body weight training the progression is quite big in between uh, the difficulty. But we're gonna find a way around that. I'm gonna show you different ways. The first one will be changing the number of reps and sets. So this is the number one tips I have to give for you. Normally, to gain muscle mass and strength, the ideal rep range should be between six and 12 reps. So this is to show that it's actually the best to uh, increase muscle mass. And number of sets between three and four. However, uh, to make it work a bit harder, you can change this. You can add more reps and more sets to increase the volume, the overall volume of the muscle that you're working. Uh, so for example, if you're doing 10 reps of squat the first week, try to do 50 in the second, 20 the third week, and so on. It's gonna still make it harder. It might work more your slow twitch fibers, which is more like fibers you're using for long distance uh, running or anything that's high rep. But you're still gonna gain some muscle mass, it's still gonna work on some strength, especially if you're adding some sets as well with it. And you can also mix it with the other technique I'm gonna show you, so that might make it work better. Um, the second one uh, we have is tempo training. So that one you have less reps, so let's say between six and twelve, but you're gonna you're gonna stay longer in a movement instead of going up and down in a squat or a push up any movement, you're gonna go down one, two, three, then pause, then one, two, three and pause again and so on until you do 10 is gonna make the movement much harder and you can combine that with some jumping squats and plyometrics which is leading to the next point plyometrics very good one it works on your power and your explosivity as well so it's very good to improve especially if you're an athlete and you can't train or uh, you still um, you still want to keep up and uh, you still want to be ready for when you're coming back uh, plyometric is a very good one so instead of doing squats you can do squat jumps um, it's gonna make it harder and then you can combine techniques I've shown so doing 20 reps of squat and then 10 reps of jump squat you can mix it like a superset So that is a very good one. You can do plyometric push-ups, clapping push-ups. If you can do already uh, at least 10 reps of clean, um, regular push-up, then 
why not trying uh, clapping push-ups or uh, something a little bit more advanced. Alright, the next technique that you can use is unilateral training. So what it means unilateral training, you're just walking one side at a time and it's very good for avoiding overcompensation and uh, rebalancing the muscle. Like you may, can have one side stronger than the other, that's gonna help you with that. Um, so for example, lunges are a very good one, you can do Bulgarian split squat as well. Uh, you can do pistol squats if you can do easily squat and you know you can do hundred of them um, why not try pistol squat this is a very good one you can do one arm push-up if you can do like 20 regular push-ups um, one arm pull-ups and if the difficulty is too big in between those then yeah why not adding a resistance band for the pull-up to do one arm pull-up so that's a very good one So the next uh, tip I'm going to give to you is um, eccentric slow movement. So it's a bit similar to tempo training, but it's more on the way down. So you have the contraction, for example, when you do a bicep curl, this is the contraction. And this is usually extra eccentric, eccentric. So you're going to go down the muscle fibers as slowly. Um, so eccentric is the uh, opposite of the contraction basically but you're still gonna work on the strength of the movement you're still gonna use the muscle fibers and make them adapt so for example you can do like a, a squat uh, going slow on the way down like up to five one two three four five and then come back quick uh, it's very good again if you're an athlete um, it's gonna help with explosivity and power So the last tip I have to give to you is uh, superset. So it's as I said before, um, putting together two or three of these techniques together. Let's say two for example, and that's really gonna make um, it more intense, more interesting as well. For example, you can do a slow tempo of squats, one, two, three on the way down, pause, one, two, three on the way up. Do this for 10 reps. Then straight after with no rest, you're gonna do 12 reps of jump squats as high as you can. And I'm gonna show you, it's really gonna work, your quads, glutes, hamstring, you're really gonna feel it a lot. And you can do that with most movements, same with push-ups and, um, and other things as well. Uh, so combining them or doing um, like five pistol squats on each side and then doing a broad jump, uh, 10 broad jumps. And again, that's really going to help. I'm going to show you in the next few weeks uh, muscle groups, spur muscle groups how to work with just your body weight so um, you can you're gonna have resources to use and one thing to bear in mind finally is that your muscles uh, don't recognize uh, what kind of resistance you're using so don't worry if you at home and you don't have any equipment uh, because your body doesn't recognize whether you're using a barbell a uh, trunk of a tree or you're just your body weight uh, it's just like having being creative with it and finding ways uh, to trick um, to trick it. it's like just uh, so it's just a matter of being creative with it and find ways that work um, yeah so you can make like a pistol squat for example as hard as um, your body weight squatting your body weight on a barbell for example so that is one way 
so that's it for today guys i hope it's helpful for you and you enjoyed it i'm gonna provide you more videos on how to train during the confinement and with just your body weight so even after uh, can still be very helpful and have a lovely day